What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to episode number 13 of the Pokemon Y Wonderlock that's been going down on the channel as of late. So in the last episode what we did, did was we finished off Route 7. We made our way through Connecting Cave as you guys can see on the main screen right now. We're back at the Connecting Cave because something happened. But I'll get into that in a moment. So then we continued down Route 8 and made our way to Ambrick Town. So just in the grinding montage, as you guys would have seen, I, I did a couple of things in the montage. We got some Rock Smash. Uh, we traded a Pokeball for a Dive Ball with one of the blokes there. We obtained the Old Rod, which would be very, very helpful as well. So we did some pretty cool things in that little grinding montage. Then I just like battled a trainer and stuff. But in today's episode, we're going to be kicking it off with a encounter. Because I was not sure at the end of episode 12 if I had accidentally encountered a Pokemon in Connecting Cave and then ran away from it. But I went back and watched through and we didn't. So we have an encounter. So let's get straight into today's episode. So what we're going to do is knock out this encounter. Well, hopefully, hopefully get a capture here. And then we'll make our way to, to Route 9. And I believe that's where we take on Team Flair. But here we go. Here is our encounter for Connecting Cave. We gotta meditate. Okay, so I got Kangas kind of, so that is no good. That is no good. I don't wanna fake out, we're too strong. Um I think my best bet would be to go into probably Ponyta. I'd say. Oh not really no actually. Because I don't remember Ponyta is Flame Body, so if Metatite decides to use... Ugh, that's super effective. Let's just put, put Metatite to sleep. Yeah, if um, Metatite decides to use something physical, we got Flame Body, it's going to get burned. So if I put it to sleep, then it can't attack me or get burned. So, let's, let's just throw a Pokeball and see if the capture rate is really pretty chill still. Or number one. <laughs> Dude, you already know, you guys. We have an yet another successful encounter. I don't believe we have failed one yet. So that is pretty cool. Oh, we've got Metatite. It's fighting psychic. And it says it eats just one berry a day. By enduring hunger, its spirit is tempered and made sharper. One berry a day. Meditate you machine. So let's let's just use what I just said then. We'll just call it Meditate me Machine. And Machine. Transfer to box one, that is A-OK. -okay. Cause let's get this one trade. All done and dusted. Let's see what we can get from the connecting cave. Straight into it. So what did we get? We got a level 15 Metatite. It was a lonely nature, which is pretty fitting. Um, with pure power in the ability. With the moves Meditate, Confusion, Detect, and Hidden Power. So you're getting traded off. Let's see what we can get from this wonder trade. So we ha we are hoping for... What are we hoping for? We need a water type. We need to replace Squirtle. I'm really disappointed about that, but we need to find a replacement for the Squirtle that we lost way back in like... Uh, I can't even remember. I think it was like episode... Episode 8 maybe? Something like that. But we've got Lenka from the United Kingdom, England. So Lenka, what do you have for us today? What do you have for us today? Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. I love this. So it is a water type, but it is like... Yeah. <laughs> it's a love disc. Uh, it is a love disc. 
Okay, so Love Disc can just stay in the box, as is. I think, um, yeah, <laughs> Love Disc is Love Disc. So let's get out of Connecting Cave and let's make our way through to Route 9. Actually, before we get too far, just before I forget, let's change... Let's swap out Kangaskhan. Kang Kangaskhan has been maining the team for the last couple of episodes. So let's go... Let's go Gibble. Actually, we need to swap the amulet coin out as well. So let's take that off. And let's give that to... Oh, would it be here? Yeah, it'd be here. Amulet coin. There we go. We did find a leaf stone as well in the grinding montage, which could be potentially useful in the future. But let's throw a repel up as well while we're here. Just to avoid the encounters. Alright, let's get out of here. Awesome. So what is the quick route? Okay. Nah, oh, that'll do. Mm, no. That's not the right one. Alrighty. So yeah, we should we should be encountering Team Flare in today's episode for the first time I believe so Serena's just kind of chilling there let's quickly heal up before we go and take on Route 9 look at that camera angle it's like a, like a really like far back bird's eye view of the Pokemon Center that's pretty cool I like that Okay, so we need to go down this way. So that's the guy that I swapped the uh, Pokeball for a Dire Ball with. So that was that was interesting. Let's go into here. So this is the fossil place. Interesting. Okay, cool. So here is Serena. Wait for me. Welcome, future archaeologists. We were <laughs> you were drawn here by the mis mystique of fossils, no doubt. My name is Serena, and this is Amity. We I can't keep that voice going. <laughs> we are researching mega evolution, and we were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, -ho! so you're Professor Sycamore's students? I've heard about you, mega evolution. You say? I'm sorry. But all, all I know is that it has something to do with the mysterious stones. Still, since you're student, students of professor of the professor, you must know about Pokemon fossils, correct? Yes, of course we do. That's right, fossils are the legacy of prehistoric Pokemon. You should really go to the dig site and see the real thing firsthand. Oh, I see. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Ev Evolution, then... Hold on, hold on Serena, Pokemon that can be restored from fossils just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. The assistant in Galarian Cave, right, now might, might know about that. Ah uh, yeah, so there's an assistant in the Galarian Cave that we need to go and find. And that's what they're kind of hinting at with all that text. So let's go. Cool, so what's here? Yes, I am. Okay, so we're riding the Rhyhorn. What do you have to say? To direct targets. A rocky helmet. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. The attack gets damaged too. Okay. 
So we'll throw it. We'll throw the rocky helmet on. Let's throw it on Kangaskhan, I think. So let's give it to Kangaskhan. Because that could be very useful. A little bit of chip damage. For example, we like fake out, get him down real low, spikes passage. passage. Yeah, get him down real low and the rocky helmet, they attack me, the rocky helmet takes them out. But cool, let's jump on Rhyhorn here. And we have another potential encounter here as well, so. It's just so slow. Come on, Rhyhorn. Here we go. Here's our encounter for Route 9. A Hippopotas. Sandstream. Sandstream, that is okay, because we're a ground type. Oh, so do I Dragon Rage? I'll give Dragon Rage a hit, I think. And we'll see if it one hit KO's. No, that is perfect. That is what I'm talking about. So let's go straight to the bag. This is going to be an easy capture. Easy, easy, easy. A walk in the park. Come on. Ooh. I don't really like that. I don't like that at all. But we should be able to survive one more of those as long as it doesn't get a crit. So let's try again. And we should capture it on this. This tent. I don't understand. One Pokeball for a Metatite level 15. No health taken off it, just asleep. But this is down way, way down in the red. And we just can't get the capture. So let's try putting it to sleep. Don't use bite. Yawn. Don't yawn me. Alrighty. In the red and asleep. You're caught now. Don't even try. Don't even try. See, the captures that I think are like the easiest always end up being the hardest. Like, this should be just like that. Boom. Don't understand you guys. I do not understand. Okay, so we got how powered on. It says, it enshrouds itself with sand to protect itself from germs. It does not enjoy getting wet. Being a ground type, that is understandable. Um, let's just call it Hippo. Hip hippie. Let's just, let's call it Hippie. <laughs> Why not? Good old Hippie. So let's, let's do this one to trade and see if we can get something better than a love disc. Because that was pretty, let's be honest, that was pretty pathetic. Like we wanted a water type, but we didn't quite want this. A French level 20 love disc. Like it's not bad, it's got like water gun, water pop and stuff. So that could be helpful in some way, shape or form. But yes, we got level 15, Hippie the Hippopotas. It is a lonely nature, yet again, we got another lonely nature. With sand stream, bite, yawn, sand attack, and tackle. So let's go. It is time, it is time to get something good. I can feel it. I can feel it, you guys. Everyone is one of trading out the finest of power today. Come on. Awesome, so we got Squiggles from Japan Gunma. Thank you, Squiggles, Mr. Squiggles. I have no clue what that says. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I apologize. Yo, 
<laughs> Yo. Talking about receiving the finest of power. We wanted a water type, but oh my god. <laughs> that is That is probably as fine a power as you can get when it comes to a water type. Holy crap you guys. Come on. Do we need like a run up? Oh my god. Right on. I mean, right on. Sand off. But wow, you guys. We just got a Gyarados from one, one trade. Actually, let's have a look at Gyarados just after this battle. And let's see what's, um, what we're rocking here. Hopefully the hype is there. Cool, so let's have a look at this Gyarados that we just received from, from one trade. Let's go into... Let's get out of there. Into there. Into there. So I'm not going to want to trade it off. As long as I don't misclick. Okay, okay. So... It is a Gyarados. But it looks like it's been basically leveled up, up maybe? So it's a bashful natured intimidate Gyarados, level 26, which is in our uh, level range, which is perfect. It's got Splash, Tackle, Dragon Rage, and Leer. So that's interesting. So, Bashful being a neutral nature as well, so nothing too, too crazy there. But, it is Gyarados, and it is a water type. So, I think, I don't know, I don't know if we should leave Gyarados in the PC, or if we should just get Gyarados out, like, right now. Why can't I get through here? Ah, oh, okay, we gotta press A, A to headbutt. I think the controls on this thing needs a bit of work. So let's get off of there. God damn it, right? God damn it, Raihorn. Turn around. Alrighty. So what's this item? We got an X defense. Let's jump back on right horn. Jump into the bag. We need a repel. Because I know the encounters here are annoying. I, I remember from the first time I played, played through and it was just terrible. No, no, that, <laughs> right horn, stop it. You need to turn around, you need to headbutt this sucker. Then let's get off. The controls are just so touchy, I don't know. It feels really weird controlling the right horn. Like, it feels really cool to ride it, and I, I'm really looking forward to riding the Stoutland in Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you guys did not already know, um, it was a screenshot of your trainer riding on top of a Stoutland was revealed. And it looked pretty cool. It, it looked pretty badass. You're like walking through this big kind of like valley. And yeah, uh, I thought it was pretty, pretty sweet. But let's continue on. Let's see if we can make it to the glittering cave. Headbutts for days. So there's the glittering cave there. Yeah, let's use another. Just because I don't want to get annoyed. Let's see what's over in this corner over here. Oh, we got a sky battle. Which I'm not too keen on doing at the moment because I've only got Talo. on you. I'm 
<laughs> Battle me. Are you scared? Are you scared? <laughs> How to avoid a trainer battle. Park your ride on. <laughs> ride horn, sorry. In front of her. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, you guys, um, I think it is about time. That is my time for today. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number 14 on another one of my Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.